Hey guys, I just wanted to show you again the benefits of having one of these light testers here. I got this trailer. We got no marker lights on the top up there. So, we're gonna save a lot of diagnostic time by using this thing. So what we did is just turn on the lights on the truck and uh, here I'm gonna have somebody else hold the camera here for a second. And uh, you got labels on here what each of these plugs is for. We're just gonna take it and uh, plug it into the pigtail on the truck. And right away we can see we have power to the marker light or the tail lights and the lower marker lights. This pin right here is your other marker lights. You can see we have no green light. So we have no power to the trailer at that point. If we had it here, uh, well, if we don't have it here, it could be a problem with the cord. So what we did was try a different cord and still no power. But then what we can do, uh, if you don't want to have another cord, just unplug it from the cord here. Unplug the other end from the truck. And plug her in. You see we still got power in that one spot, but not the other. So we know that the problem is on the truck and not the cord. So we're going to dig into this a little bit here, maybe the back side of this, see if we got a loose wire, and, uh, and go from there. But that's probably going to, it saved us a lot of time here, trying to figure out if there's a broken wire in the trailer, or up at the lights, or just something uh, else happened. So first we're going to go see, check all the fuses, and then uh, dig into this here. It's really cold outside, so less time we spend out here, the better. All right, I'm going to put a link in the description below for one of these testers. They're about 30 bucks, and uh, as you can see, just saved us, uh, you know, probably an hour of digging around trying to find out where the broken wire is on the trailer, and it's not on the trailer, so. All right, thanks everybody, see you later.